tell this is one of the last times that I walk a bunch of stuff to this marina. Um, heading over to Good Times, load this stuff, crank her up, head around the corner to Marty's. So officially leaving this marina. Won't be back here. Stay the night over around there. It's supposed to be nice and cool. And then if all goes well, we cut out in the morning. Well, mid mid morning. Tide, let the tide help push us out. There you go. That's it. About 15 minutes. <laughs> yep. I, I'm actually going around the corner till tomorrow, but to a buddy's place. But uh, yeah. Today is the official day. This is the official day. Yeah, I, I ain't 100% ready, but you never are. So, you know, I got I got some things, but that's the kind of the point. We'll I'll be doing stuff underway. So. Well, we are getting underway. Just let the wind drift us out of the slip. Temperatures and oil looks good. You know, Mark Twain said 20 years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than by the ones you did do. So throw off the bow line, sell away from safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sail, explore, dream, and discover. This trip, my friends, is what I'm planning to do. Say goodbye, little harbor. Love this marina, but better things to come. Yep, gotta love it. These winter tides, you gotta be careful because they drop out low. The bay looks pretty nice today and wonder about tomorrow but we'll be heading south and we should have a north wind so it should be a following sea which would be nice This thing says three six is four six. My transducer is a foot below the waterline, so it gives me a little bit of play. That's the old dock we were at.
getting her going. Marty had to stop back there to put a straighten his kayak out. I am moving on. We'll be coming around that corner here in just a second. All right, guys, we uh making the pass of uh, Bahia Beach or Little Harbor Marina. You'll see as we're going. Um, that's where I had to boat before. Been here a long time. It is my favorite marina for sure. Um, it's not too packed. It's very well protected back there. You don't have to worry about a bunch of boaters. So it's real nice, but... I guess with good time, won't see that marina for some years. I don't know how long. A boat ran up into the building. It's coming down here, ran all the way up in the building. And where that new metal is, it took that out. That's why they did that. But um, what I never understood is why was he running so fast that he, he said he missed a marker, but how could you see it if you were running that hard to run up that sand and into the building? That's crazy. It was, it was foggy. It yeah, but that was twice as bad because that meant you couldn't see the other markers. Like yeah. he could have split his boat on a marker. That was unbelievable. Yeah. All right, I'm starting to raise her up just a hair. Good time to say, whoa. So the plan was to come out of Little Harbor, go across to Bay, turn, go under the bridge, and then turn and go towards Fort DeSoto Island and sort of hang out in that area for tonight and anchor up there. Here's a little time lapse of crossing the bay and coming in to get over. So I got this uh there's a coming up, we're gonna turn. I'm gonna show you an overhead of where I am right now. That's the uh, 275 right there. The Skyway is off, you'll see it when I turn the camera back. We're gonna go down here, turn full starboard, and we're only about four or five miles over there to Port Soto. But we're gonna pass a wreck, and I'm gonna put that in there. And I'll, I did a video on that. Um, I'll link that little video. But this is a cool area, you notice, in there how shallow I don't know if y'all can see that but we're gonna keep heading up keep heading south here heck an hour or less we'll be at our anchorage and this see it's midday we we'll have a nice day I got boat projects to keep working on so I got plenty to keep me busy this is the change in channel this is where we're turning to go to Fort DeSoto but there's that uh, sunken boat yeah, I can't see it Y'all, I think you can see it. I'll link to that on the video. That was a pretty cool little dive.
have breadcrumbs right here we've anchored here before. And that's right out there. Side of state, take it back to the farm. I didn't want to have to drive back over there again. So now I'm on a. Uh, this is called Bunce's Pass. Marty's gonna set his, and then I'll set my anchor alarm on my phone and make sure we're holding. Them. After several attempts of him setting his anchor, we decided to give up and move to the other side of the bridge where it was less windy. Yeah, so we were on the other side of the bridge there, and this the wind was blowing really hard. Um, so we decided to move over on this side. Watch this. After I got my anchor set good, Contiki came up beside me and we wrapped it up. We later solved this problem on the west coast anyways. I gave him a spare uh, anchor that I had and he was pretty good until we got to the east coast. This was our first time rafting up on the trip, so we had to practice and figure out where was the best place to tie it up so that we could transfer us back between the two boats.
So after putting our heads together about a better way to wrap up the next time, Marty walked the dogs and took them to a nearby shore. The rest of that night was pretty uneventful, which is a good thing whenever you're on the hook. The next morning we got up and turned our boat south and wow the adventure we had that day. Y'all come on back friends next time and let's see what happened. Feeling better? Feeling better?